Welcome to the part four video of image processing with OpenCV and Python. In this video, I shall be showing you how to modify the size of an image. Basically what we call it as how do we resize the image. In the previous video, I had shown you how to read the dimension. When I say the term dimension, it always represents the height and the width of an image along with its number of channels. Now in this video, I shall be exclusively showing you how to resize the image that is scale up the image size or scale down the image size. So to do that, I'll be importing my open CV package that is CV2. Now I'll be taking IMG as a variable and I'll read the image first. So we have CV2 dot IM read, which is an inbuilt function and then read the file uh, name, which is image one dot JPEG. So once that is done, what I do is uh, we know that we have an attribute called as a shape that is going to display our dimension of an image. So I'll be using a print followed by, so I'll specify the original dimension. I'm going to display the original dimension of the image, actual image. So original dimension of an image is stored in IMG dot shape where shape is an attribute that basically returns a tuple containing three different index value where the first index value zero will hold the uh, height of an image and one will hold the width of an image and two will hold the channel the number of channels of an image now for this program i need only the width and the height of an image but basically this particular img dot shape will display the dimension of an image now along with the dimension of an image let us also display the image window along with its image. So cv2 dot im show, I'll specify it as original image and that has been stored in img. So once we have done with it, now I will use cv2 dot wait key to sustain my image uh, window and until unless I press any other key. And then once I press any other key, I have to close my image window. I'll be using CV2 dot destroy all windows. So now it is time to calculate or resize my image. How do I resize an image? So what I'm going to do is I have two different provisions where I can resize my image. One is scale up or scale down. I may increase the size of an height and width of an image, or I may reduce the size, I mean, height and width of an image based on the specified percentage. So what I do is I take a variable called as a scale underscore PER and I want to scale down the image for 60%. So I am going to take a variable called a scale per and specify 60 indicating that I would like to reduce the image size by 60%. So once we have done with that, what I do, I'll be calculating the width first. Basically, I'll calculate the width width equals to I have int for type conversion and I'll be using image that's my img dot shape of one the shape of one will hold the information of width of an image and what I do is I will calculate this multiply with the provided percentage which is scale underscore percentage divided by 100. So this is going to calculate the width of an image where shape of one will hold the information of a width of an image and you calculate you are going to multiply how many number of times 60%. So the same operation is also done for the height. Let us calculate the height here. So here I'm going to take a different variable that is height. I'll rename this as height. And then the height information is always stored in the attribute shape of zero. That means reduce the height of an image 60%. So this line represents reduce the width of an image 60% and reduce the height of an image 60%. And the next thing that what you do is you store that the width and height that whatever that you have calculated in a variable called as DIM, which is width followed by height. That's what I'm going to do now. And finally, once we have the calculated width and height, now it is time to resize our image. So I'll be taking another variable called as rez. So rez is equal to, I have an inbuilt function called as 
resize, which is going to resize the width and height of an image based on the calculated values. So specify your source file, which is IMG, and also specify the width and height, which is stored in a variable called as a dimension. And we have something called as interpolation. This interpolation represents the change that you would like to deploy into your original image. The change that you would like to insert into your original image. So we have an function called as cv2 dot inter area. Inter area. So this is what we are going to use it to insert the changes of dimensions that what you have done to your original source file. I have calculated the width and I have calculated the height. Insert that calculated width and height into your image so that your image size gets modified. So once we have done with it, let me display the dimension of an image. So I'll copy this, I'll print this. Uh, so this time, this original will be modified as resized. And the resized image information is stored in the variable called as rez. Uh, very similar to that, let me display even the image window, which is, a, which is an image window for the modified uh, uh, image. So I'll just change this as resize. And the variable that what we have is rez. So here, the first part will display the original image dimension and the original image uh, window. Then what are we trying to do? We are trying to calculate the width and height, specifying that I would like to reduce the image size by 60%. So I am going to calculate the width, I'm going to calculate the height and store this information in the dimension. And I have an inbuilt function called as R resize, which is going to resize uh, the image based on the dimension that what you have whatever that you have calculated and you're going to display that. So here we go, let me save this and I'll run this program. The first thing that what it's going to do is it's going to display the original image and its dimension. You can see the original image and its dimension here along with the channel number. I will close this soon after I close it. So it's going to display the modified image here. So you can notice that the resized image exists here and its altered value. One thing that what you have to notice is whenever I scale up or scale down, uh, with this particular calculation, this is going to scale up or scale down without modifying its aspect ratio. So based on the percentage, I am going to calculate what is the height and width and then resize it. So when I do this, when I do this particular operation, the aspect ratio of an image will not be modified. So here, the very, very simple thing that what I have done is I have simply reduced the image size by 60%. Now, what should I do if I want to increase the file size? If I want to in modify the file size, I mean, the image size has to be increased. The height and the width has to be modified. It has to be increased. If you want to reduce it, set the scale percentage within 100. If you want to increase the size or scale up the size of an image, then make sure that you provide the scale per more than 100. So I'm going to specify this time as 180%. So that means I'm going to scale up my image more than 180. That means increase the file, I mean, image size by 180%. So that is going to calculate the width and height. And we will see what's our output. So now it actually displays the original size. So this is the original size of an image. Once I close this, now you can see that your image has been increased. Your dimension of an image has been increased by 180%. The width and the height of an image has been increased 180%. So that is the beauty of this particular statement where it is going to resize, scale up or scale down your image size by making your aspect ratio unchanged. It will not be changed, it will not be modified. Now what in case, there is another scenario where I want to only modify the width or only modify the height. When I only modify the width and only modify the height, now the aspect ratio gets changes. 
So now we will see how do you modify only the width and how do you modify only the height. So that's what I'm we are going to see now. It's a very, very simple one. So what I do is I'm not going to uh, change the resize my image based on the percentage. Simply I'm going to calculate. I'll just remove this. I'll specify now for the first time what I have to do is I'm going to increase the height of an image by 400 pixels and retain the width as it is. So to retain the width as it is, we know that the information is already stored in IMG shape of one. So this will hold the information of a width information of an original image. Now what I specify is the height is being modified here. So I have specified the height as increase the height by 400 pixels. So 400 pixels is what the value that we are going to specify for. That means the number of pixels that should exist in a height. The rest of the things is same. So I'll save this and see what output we are going to get. First one is the original dimension. So now you just look into the, now you can notice that you can notice here here, the height of an image is modified. Only the width is retained as it is. There is no much changes that what we have done with respect to our, uh, no changes done with respect to the width, but when you can notice the height, the height that what we have specified is 400 pixels. Earlier it was 384. Now only the height is being modified. Okay. So now in case, if I want to change only the width, and retain the height as it is. So now this will be modified like this. So just change this. The height information will be stored in the shape of zero. That this will hold the information of the height of an image. Now you can specify that the width has to be changed to 400. Width has to be changed to the 400. Now when I run this, now you can notice the difference. This is the original image. Now this is what you can see the width has been modified and the height is retained as it is. So when you specify only the width or the height, the drawback that what you can notice is the aspect ratio is being modified here. If you do not want to modify the aspect ratio, then you can specify the scale percentage. Based on the percentage, you can equally calculate both height and width so that the aspect ratio will not be modified. In case if you want to modify the aspect ratio, then decide whether you want to change the width or you can change the height or both values, you can change it. For the simplified version, not making much changes to the aspect ratio. So you can simply use the percentage. So if you want to scale up the image or increase the file size, I mean the file uh, resize your image, increase your scale of an image, then Make sure that the, the scale percentage you should give, it should be more than 100%. Or if you want to reduce or scale down the image size, then make sure that you provide the scale percentage less than 100. In the next video, I shall be showing you some more operations with respect to image processing with OpenCV and Python. Thank you.